We are back with another episode of me making a video game in Unity and programming in C Sharp or coding as the cool kids like to say. Um, or it's probably like how not to make a game or how not to program. Um, last episode we got the game speed which I'm glad we have because now I can kind of control how fast and how slow the simulation works. I even added a super slow mode. So here's that regular speed. Uh, well, maybe not. I thought I did. There we go. I don't know why I wasn't inputting, but yep. So we got a super slow mode, which is kind of useful if I need to kind of slow down things to debug. Um, That's normal speed. I probably need something that says what speed I'm at. Two, three, a little bit faster. Four is super slow. One is normal. All right, so off camera, I was making a the action for eating. And let's see, he's, he's hungry. But he's not trying to eat anything. So I got some bugs. He picked up the berry. But he's not eating. Um, not sure why. Let's uh, click on the test agent. His current goal is to take it, take some to the storehouse. Eat. Oh, he did eat. He saw it there. His hunger went back up. Maybe he did eat. I didn't notice. Um, here, let's do this just to test out the eating. Um, so yeah, let me go over what I did with the eating. There's some, some bugs with it. Uh, I decided to try to make just one action called eat, and then it would handle whether it's eating from a storage house or eating from the ground, and whether or not it would eat from a house that he's built or from a from just eating in the place that it's at. Um, and in our game, there might be like a difference. Like if, if they eat at home, uh, you know, maybe they can actually cook something and it makes the eating better. Uh, but if they just eat something straight from the storehouse or from the ground, you know, the eating, the hunger doesn't increase as much. And maybe, you know, there's a chance for disease or something or, or getting sick. Uh, let's see. So yeah, this is all being done in one one thing. I'm gonna change the well, the duration is five. Let me see what the duration is for these other things. A hundred. Oof. Huh. Maybe we need to fix that somewhere. Okay, so let's say a hundred. All right, there he goes. He's not going to eat until he gets to zero. So speed up the simulation a little bit. He's dropping wood off. Let's build something. He's building a farm. Got some wood there. I'm just working with one agent right now because just testing for any bugs. Uh, there he goes. Oh, he ate. It didn't take long to eat. Oh, my simulation's pretty high. Um, let's change this to... Hey, house. See what he does. Okay. Not too bad. He's building the house. Speed it up a little bit. Slow it down. Let's go gather some berries. So let me just pause it for a sec. Actually, I could pause the simulation, can't I? Just like that. It's paused. He still moves, though, because the animation is not hooked up to the, the speed. Uh, let's look at the test agent. Actually, I want to go to the storehouse. All right, you see here, we've tagged this berry. Somewhere in our during our AI system, we tagged it, but we didn't go and grab it. Um, let me see if I can bring up the... Somewhere we failed an action. Failed it a couple times. That's not good. Failed, 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 failed. Somehow we failed it. Not sure why. But we did fail it. Now, what I did put in is in our... Um, AI agent, I have a reset action, 
And this is going to just loop through all the actions and reset the targets. And it resets the is task. Um, if a action is take resource from storage, if it's a storage reset, the items, this is getting that. If the target is not null, okay, target item is task is equal to false. Um, for some reason, this is not working. Okay, here's where I think I'm having problems. And let me show you what I did in the eat action. When we set our target, we set it to check if there's a food on the ground, check if there is uh, food in the storage, and then it, um, so if it's, if there's food on the ground, it's going to target that. Here, I think this is the problem right here. Um, we should really say this. Okay. Um, it sets them both up ahead of time. So it'll... It'll look for food on the ground. So this is like in a pre pre planning. So when we do our pre plan, we're going to set our target. Now here's where I think could be a problem. And I think what we need to do is go backwards through our plan to set the um, pre planning. I think that's where we're having issues. But anyways, going back to this action, what it does is in this one, here I'll even say set up target for take from ground. So just in case, what if it makes a plan and part of the plan included taking a resource from the ground? Um, then it would automatically set that action the take action, the take from ground action, which I'm I'm getting right here. So take from the ground, find all the resources, find all resources that are on the map, and then get that. Um, make sure it's not tagged, make sure it's a food resource. And then if it is, uh, set the target ahead of time. So set this target. And then we'll say it's true. We'll say the item is true. Actually, let me go to take resource from ground. Uh, take resource from ground. Let's do that here. Oh, I already did it. Um, one thing we need to do is, uh, how do I... Do I ever set me as the target? Uh, where where have I done that? Because um, that's kind of the question. Here, let me just let me play this for a sec. Let me click here and pause the simulation. Um, let me go to my test agent. Let me go to my actions and see what it's done. In my take resource from ground, notice my AI agent. Okay, my AI agent is this. Okay, so that's good. Let me play it. Whoops. Do that again. All right, I'm pausing it. Okay, take resource from ground. The agent became the target. This is still the target.
Um, oh, no, no, no. I'm looking at the wrong thing. Uh, go to my... Let me go to that resource I'm carrying the wood. Um, you see here, AI agent is none. So I should target that. And that's going to be kind of important because when I reset my actions. Hmm, I thought I did somewhere. All right, right here. Reset is task interactables. Okay. So this is resetting the is task. And the way that this does it is if I go to um, the definition, it loops and it tries to find the interactable that equals this AI agent. Well, that's not really what we want to do. I mean, that's what we want to do, but I have to make sure that um, each time we set the targets of all of our actions, so I need to, somehow I need to, if I was a little bit smarter maybe, I would have these things happen automatically where I wouldn't have to type them for every single um, action. It's like right here. Take resource to storage. After we get a target, we want to say... We want to say gather objects zero dot get component. And we want to get the gather object component on it. We're going to call this gather. You know, if I was a little bit smarter. Well, here, here, here. Well, what do we, what if we did this? Okay. Let's let's try to be a little bit smarter about this. Let me put a little public public void set interactable interactable agent. And we're gonna say agent AI agent AI agent. Alright. So here Let's do, um, actually, let's send it an interactable, comma, and we're simply going to say interactable dot AI agent is equal to AI agent. Actually, instead of sending the interactable, let's send it the game object. Game object. Okay, hold on. I'm uh, an interactable game object, AI agent, and interactable game ag agent. Hold on, why? Oh, because now it's a game object. All right, that get component. And we're going to do a type of type. Okay, so we're going to get the component of this type. And we're going to say dot AI agent. <laughs> right, let's do like this. Whoops. We're going to call it the the geo. And then we're going to say interactable. No, 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 this is, uh, how can I do this? Uh, 
um, trying to be clever here. That's what happens when you try to be clever. Uh, geo dot get component type um, component. I've done this before. This is how you do it. Component 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 is equal to this. We're going to then say interactable interactable is equal to cache this component as an interactable. Uh, whoops. This way I don't have to type this over and over again for every single one. I can just say set interactable act, uh, agent. And then we're not going to say resource. It's all this stuff. Interactable dot AI agent is equal to AI agent. Nope, not goal. AI agent. Okay. So we get the, we send it a type. We get that component on that object because it, we'll never have more than one of the same type. So we get this one type. We're going to cache it to an interactable. Then we're going to set the AI agent. Public void. <laughs> Let's be even clever. Let's say uh, a bool is null. So if is null, then we'll set it to null. Else we will set it to this. All right. Now let's go to the resource on the ground. So now we just say map manager dot instance dot set interactable agent. We are going to send it the uh, AI agent, comma, target object, comma, gather object, whoops, type of gather object, comma, false. Okay. So basically we need this inside all of our actions when we set the target. But it's just going to change based upon the type we're looking for. So let's go to our actions here. So in the build action, we're going to do this. And this time we're going to get the... The... Blueprint. Okay. Uh, the eat action we already did, we're not going to be using those two or that one. The gather resource. Now, the gather resource the script is so much smaller. Um, hold on, this is that. The last one I did, take resource from ground. This should be resource. Okay. I think I'm being thrown off with these names right here. Let me change it to game objects. Game objects. Game objects, and let's call this Geo. Okay. OK. 
Okay, sleeping home. We'll do... We're not going to set it for this one, though. And the reason why is because more than one person could interact with it. I think that's what I want to do. I don't want to... See, I got to accommodate for that, too, because in your home, you can actually have two people sleep in the home. So we'll leave that alone for now. Um, actually, it's not really going to matter. That's not going to matter either. Take resources from ground. We really just want this to do it for the... Where I did it. There, I got that one. Okay, set the target. We're going to do the same thing. Whoops, aw, oh, come on. Set this as well. And this is going to be a type of Yep, storage object. Um, mm, again, we don't want that here either. Okay, blueprint. Right now, we're not having everyone work on a blueprint at once. So let's put that here. And we don't need it there either. Hmm. All right, anyways, uh, so let's go to our AI agent. Yeah, we're kind of going a little bit slow as far as the progression right now of this game due to trying to really get this AI system to work correctly. I've been saying that for the past couple of videos. Um, we've had more than, I don't know, maybe 15 videos already. More than 15 videos on getting this new AI system to work. And each, each of them is kind of tackling a different aspect of it. And I think that's where I'm getting a little frustrated with it is that every time I add a new action, it just it just breaks. It just doesn't work well, and I have to spend a lot of time debugging, um, which is not what I want to do. Um, but it is what it is right now. You know, the, the question is, well, do I go back to it? Do I try to do a different AI system than this? Do I try to simplify this a little bit? And I just don't know at this point. Um, let me go to so that's resetting all the interactables. Uh, Ew. Okay, I don't know how to... Hmm. Alright, this, this isn't good at all. Um... Hmm. Okay, this is living through all the interactables. Oh, why don't why don't I just say interactable dot AI agent equals null? So I, don't, I just do it right here. Okay, <laughs> so this is just resetting all the interactables that have the AI because what's happening is when I fail it, I want it to reset these things. Um. 
Uh, let's just go back and test. And, I'm, and again, I think one of the hard hard things is I don't know what causes the the errors sometimes. Um, okay, so right now he's just doing a couple different things. He's dropping things off. Speed things up a little bit. Took the berry. Let me look at my storehouse. Okay, nothing is is that. Let me look on him. No, no failings. His hunger is about to kick in. I was pause it. Actually, let's slow down. Okay, he's, he's doing something. Okay, he did eat. Okay, he ate. He ate. No problem. Let's add some. Let's add a house. Okay, good. Let's look at our storehouse, see if we have anything. See, we have a berry that's, that's flagged. So this was during the eating from the storehouse. Let's see if I can mimic that. Um, mimic that again. Let me click here. You know, I don't know how much you guys want to watch someone mess up with their, in their game and, and try and make this. And you might be to the point too, where it's like, well, why am I watching this? There's no progress with this. It seems like. You know, I think you would rather see like, oh, new stuff instead of keep seeing the same old, same old of things aren't working right. Um, so I don't know. Just leave a, a comment if this is kind of what you want to see. If it doesn't bother you, if it's fine either way. Um, that would be kind of helpful to know. I mean, part of it is like, to me, what does it matter, you know, if. If I'm going to program, I might as well just record me programming. What is it? Doesn't really make a difference. You know, my my goal is to uh, make a game. That's my goal. Um, making these videos is kind of secondary, I guess. You know, that's that I don't like it. I do like it. And that's what I'm saying. I might as well just record. Because um, if you don't want to watch it, you don't have to. You know, that's up to you. I guess what I'm trying to say is like I'm not going to change anything to get more people just to watch my video. My my goal is to make this game, and if you want to watch it, you can watch it. All right, I'm just going. I should probably just speed this up. I do kind of just want to see what happens. Okay, so now he's going to have a goal, and I want to see how many berries he. Okay, right now there's only one berry. He's trying to take. But let's see if he actually takes this one. Actually, let's go to our test target. Actually, I know what... I think I know what's happening. Um, AI actions. Let's see, get rid of that. Building eat action AI agent targets test agent so we're going to eat it ourselves um, not go to a home um, our take from resource target oh huh, that's weird Why 
Why don't we have a a target here? All right, let's uh, see if we can pause this. Oh, we're already eating. That's kind of why. Okay. Oh, yeah, unpause it. Okay. Um, let's speed this up a little bit. I'm pushing four. Four does nothing. <laughs> Three. And then let's push five when we get closer to it. 30. All right, let's slow it down. Wait, ah, what the? Five is, five is super speed. Okay, 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 let's fix all this stuff. Let's go to my, um, my game manager. Game manager. Key zero is pause, alpha four slows it down. So four is to slow down, three is to go f the fastest. All right. Now this is what we're going to do. When we get closer to the eating, we're going to, here, let's click here. Let's click here. Let's click here. Let's click here. Let's go slow now. Whoops, let's click here. Just click a bunch of things so he stays in the gather resource state. Whoa. Okay, slowing down. Now, let's pause it. Let's look at our test agent. Actually, that's not pausing. This will pause it. Okay, so let's open up the Oops, backspace. Okay, so currently his goal is to gather resource from object. All right, let's let him finish that up. Let's unpause it. All right, my goal is to take resources storehouse. Let's look at our storehouse, see if there's any objects that Okay, we have a wood and a berry. Okay, and they're not tagged. Let's see if any of these are tagged. This berry was tagged. Oh, th maybe that's what he's taking. No. We can see what his current actions are. His goal is to take resource. He's take part of that because of my hunger. Now that's, we're going to test this out. My hunger wasn't quite there yet. You can see my goal's not changing. He's going to finish the task. My goal is still to take things to the resource place. Pause it. No, he's picking it up. Wait, 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 what just happened? He ate in between something. Did he not? Did we miss it? Okay, this is this is tagged. Okay. This berry was tagged. And let's see if all this in the storehouse of all those berries were tagged. This was not tagged. This was not so he tagged two of them.
And let's see if we can get this testing this out again. Four makes it ultra slow. I probably won't be able to do this. Wait, what's going on? Oh yeah, that one's tagged. Right, let's try this again. All right, I'm just kind of going between the two things. So I'll slow it down. Let's pause it for a sec. Actually, let's pause it this way. Let's go to my storehouse. Nothing's tagged. This berry is not tagged. Okay, let's go to slow motion. Okay, we're in slow motion. This was task. Let's click my agent. Take resource to which resource was it doing? Take resource on ground. Take resource to storage. Uh, let's see. Why is he doing that? What did I pick up? Uh, I'm not carrying anything. What am I taking to the storage? Let me click on my storage. None of them are tagged. Let's see. Current action. Current action is take resource on ground. Where is he going though? Target is berry. Where's this berry? Oh, maybe I just can't tell. Okay. So he's going to go do that. Uh, this this is kind of hard to get this timing right. Darn it. And he did task it again. Yep. Go here to my AI agent. Here's what I think is happening. Uh, we need to go through our pre planning backwards. So, how do we do that? Let's go to our AI agent. Set target, pre planning. Come on, pre planning. Pre-planning. We need to go through this backwards. Actually, the way it works, okay, it's going through all the actions, but how do we go through it backwards? For I is plan dot count is and it's gonna be minus minus if AI if I is Whoa, what the? If i is greater than zero, okay, we're gonna do all this, and we're 
going to say I. Psych, we're not going to do that. Plan that element at I. Um, so we do it backwards instead. Because I think what's happening is the take resource is already saying it's target. And then it comes down. I'm using hand motions right now. If you, if you didn't notice, I'm actually using my hands to kind of show you what I'm talking about. Um, but basically it's starting with the take from ground action and then it's saying the target for one berry and then when it gets to the eat action, it's saying another berry. And that's not what we want to do. We want to do it backwards. Okay. Let's see if we can get this going again. Let's just speed things up a little bit. Get our hunger pretty low. Yeah, maybe about there. Uh, click here, click here, click here, click here, click here. And there, and there. And speed things up. Slow things down, speed things up, slow, speed, slow. What speed are we at? We're at slow speed. Okay. Pause it. I might change my numbers here so that they're a little bit closer to my fingers. Um, we are gathering, so let's do a four. Actually, let's see our, yeah. So I'm still going to gather a resource. We haven't even put in like checking the distance of these objects to pick the best one for distance. Um, yeah, we'll have to do that still. So, you know, when he gathers resources, he's not going all the way over here to get one when the closest one's here. And maybe my problem is I'm being too strict with the AI. Like you have to work perfectly instead of allowing it to fail and then refiguring what it should do based upon that failure. Maybe that's my problem with uh, setting this AI system up. Let's pause it for a sec. See, my goal is eat. We have an error. Okay, if AI, okay, this needs to be a minus one, I think. Okay, let's try that again. All right, he's going, slow down, speed up, slow, speed, speed, slow. Let's get some more things over here. Click here. All right, there he goes, he's, he's almost hungry. Okay, slow down, slow down. Let's see, what's his goal? Pause it for a sec. Test, do that. His goal is to take it from to storage. Let's do slow-mo. All right, he's eating. He's going to take resource from ground. We have no errors. Let's check our berries. That berry is task. That berry is not. And that berry is not. So we seem to have fixed it. I'm using air quotes because who knows? Um... Some pause it. Now, what's interesting is it 
let's let's check our storage. Did it did it flag the one? It did. It also flagged this one. So um I might test to see if it'll unflag it after it finished eating from the ground. Let's just test that first. Um Let's see. Let's see. Let me unpause it. It's going slow. Wait. Let me click again. Okay. Make them a little bit faster. Pause it. Slow. Unpause. My goal is to eat. Am I in pause mode? I don't know what I'm doing. Pause it for a sec. All right, he's he's chopping down. This berry is not tasked. This one's not tasked. Let's go to the storehouse. And that became untasked. So that that portion is working. Um, but we don't really want him to tag. He's tagging both because of the way that I, I wrote the code. Um, man, how do we... This gets so complicated. Every time I try to do something, it gets more complicated. Maybe that's the fun part of programming is getting yourself in these situations where you got to fix them. Um but then it just feels like it slows your progress down. Because I swear I've been working on this AI system for a while now. I'm not back to where we were before. Not to say that where we were before was perfect. Um, see, we're in our eat action. We task them both and say, hey, you, you can't eat either of these berries. Well, we don't really want that, do we? Hmm. Let's do this. Um, um, hmm, 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 hmm. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Plan each action. Actually, we could do it like this. I don't know. Let's leave it like that. Then we say untarget all actions that are not in that are not in plan. So this would be for each. Action, AI action, AI action in AI actions if plan dot contains if it contains this AI action, and actually we're going to say if it does not, then we want to untag it. We basically want this, right? Private void untarget action AI action AI action. Okay, and so in here, we say, uh, 
Um, Hmm. Un target action AI action. Well, here, sorry, I was just thinking um, to do take from resource, take from, uh, sorry, in our. In our eat action we could probably this is in our set target we could probably set it up like this actually if ai agent dot plan dot contains take resource from ground then we do it. Mm -hmm. Um, shoot. All right. Just create another. So I'm getting kind of better at creating other helper functions. Get action. I hope I don't buy type. I hope I don't already have this because this could be useful. So you just send it a type. Just send it a type. You just go up here. I think you have to say using systems. Go down here. Now this video is getting kind of long. And we're going to say type, type for each AI action, AI action, and AI actions. No. Uh, if AI actions AI action dot type is type type you would think I'd know how to do this automatically. Okay, no, it doesn't like that. Get type is equal to equal to type. Then we're going to return AI action. Return that. This needs to be an AI action. Return null. Okay. Let me save that. Go to the take. Uh, go to the eat, and then instead of we're going to say AI agent dot get action by type, and this is going to be the take resource from ground and type of okay cool huh all right we do the same thing here actually it would be better to do like this Control X. 
sorry, control C. And then we, I don't know if I need to do that. Uh, yep. And so then we'll copy this. So now what we're doing is we're going to see if it contains, if in our plan already, do we, do we have this action? If, if we can't have them both. Okay. That's not, it's not going to be possible for these to both happen. Take, I mean, I say that. <laughs> so if this is it, then we set this one. If this is it, then we set this one. Um, right, let me just test this real quick. If it works, it works. If not, I'll pause the video anyways, and we'll, uh, you know, end it there. Uh, let's just kind of get our little thing a little bit going. Let's kind of slow it down about right about here. Or maybe that was too soon. Maybe this will work. Oh, I wanted another berry, dum dum. Not the tree. Okay, pause. Did he just eat it? No, he didn't eat it. What is he doing? Pause it. What is he doing? He's carrying a berry. Why is he picking this up? Why did he pick up a berry and then pick up a piece of wood? Okay, maybe he's not picking, maybe he's eating right now. Maybe he's eating right now. Oh yeah, my goal is to eat. Okay, okay. Wait, wait. So he he's eating something from the ground. He's not eating this berry. Let's go to the storehouse, see if this has been tagged. Isn't that what we were doing? It is not tagged. Okay, I think we're going to end the episode there. Let's do a little, a little unpausing. He's taking the wood. Do that. Build something. Oh my word. We have errors. We've got some errors. Okay. Well. I'm going to pause it there. And we will figure this out. Later. But. Um, oh this right here. Should be blueprint. Alright well. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.